Well, thank Absolutely. you. Glad that you're here with us. First off, a lot of ducks were tagged last night. Many, many ducks. Yes, we had wonderful volunteers that came out to Eastside Center as we do every year. Uh, there are champions and they actually physically tagged 30,000 ducks to prepare them for Saturday's race. So we were very appreciative of them coming out to do that, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to see what the process is to get ready to find out who our big winners are for yeah. Saturday. Saying tag those ducks in record time. Yeah. Yes, record time. We were done in about two hours, um, which is really phenomenal and um, that done well. Everybody, everybody, in, I think enjoyed themselves because who doesn't enjoy a big, big pile of rubber ducks? ducks. They're <laughs> fun to look at. And so what? It, I know you all had set your goal for this year. What yes. is the goal of how many ducks you want to sell? So 30,000 ducks okay. this year's. And when I checked, we were about 500 ducks away. Ooh, so we're down nice. to the final few. Wow. So we hope people go to DuckRacePeoria.com to get those uh, final few ducks today and get in the race for Saturday because the top prize for the first duck across the finish line is $10,000. So uh, nothing to sneeze at for sure. No. Second prize is 5,000. Third prize is 2,500. And we've got 15 prizes for the first 15 ducks across the finish line. So we're going to see uh, at Eastside Center, race is at 6, but the fun starts at 4. But at the race, we'll see out of a, a dump truck that's completely full of these tagged ducks right now, we'll come down a 1,000 foot water slide, and it's a lot of fun. It's a big spectacle, but it's a lot of fun to see. I've seen it before, man. There's nothing like seeing those ducks rush at you. It's, you're just like, this is massive it is and it it's it signifies the importance of the duck race because the duck race is really about survivors it's all about the work that the center for prevention of abuse does to care for survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault and elder abuse and human trafficking and anything that's gender-based violence and that's more important now than it's ever been um, we need to make sure that we're there for people and the community really supports our free and confidential services. They understand the value of what we provide and we care for so many people every year, but we also work to prevent abuse before it starts. And we're in all of Peoria Public Schools and other schools in the Tri-County area and continuing that work matters and the duck race goes to support that 100%. Absolutely. 33rd year longest running. Longest running duck race in the country. And we're so proud that 100% of the proceeds go directly to care for clients. Um, not everybody can claim that because it can be very expensive to run a fundraiser. Right. We have very generous sponsors and supporters and uh, the community, their grassroots support to make sure that these $5 ducks go to a good cause. Great. Well, we're always excited. It's a fun yes. time of the year. Fingers crossed, weather holds out for yes. you guys, too. Yes, please, Molly, please help us. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's always a fun time. Well, Carol, thank you so much for being with us, and good luck to you all. Thank you, Kyron. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you. Thank you, and we will have all of that information up on our website, CIProud.com.